I want to talk to you about selling online and look it's so easy there's only a, f a couple of little secrets that can really make a substantial difference to what you do so I'll go through some examples here um, there's heaps and I'll, what I want you to do is make sure you get on there and search custom stickers custom decals and see what everyone's doing okay and have a look at their listings now the secret is to copy but not to copy okay so copy the the basic idea okay so you're looking at um, boating stickers obviously sell very well uh, with this particular seller let's we can see what else they sell now they've got 132 listings okay so um, they've got a, a, a massive amount um, here just on their first page what they're doing is they're doing the basic stuff um, it doesn't need to be complicated and again that's where the money is okay like I always say um, small fish are sweet and if you have a look at the um, the amount the volume they're selling okay sure sure enough they're probably clearing about five dollars per sale but between everything they sell because it's templated and it's so simple they're not changing much like these window stickers here all they're doing they sold over a thousand of them they've got a template and they're just changing the phone number and the price they're using the right size material your rolls are 600 wide by 300 so they're getting three signs out of every meter now if they're buying say Arlon 5000 bulk and coming down to just over three bucks uh, a meter their sign is costing them around a dollar in vinyl and then your um, transfer tape okay so again while they're not making a ton once the fees come out and what have you and they might only be seven dollars profit in that but they've made over seven thousand dollars in profit just off that one sticker and they're doing a heap of them now again remember because it's templated they can do so many um, and they're obviously doing them all day long and again um, you know there must be two three hundred dollars a day going into their PayPal account based on their the volume and if you want to see what a seller is actually um, actually really doing simply go to all of their listings and let's find a different one here for an example um, the pet bowl stickers go to all of their listings have a look at the price and times it by what they've sold and work it out it's not hard for you to work out what they're doing so when I say copy I mean copy those ideas now this is where you can win this person is kicking ass and it's a terrible listing okay get creative even if you've got to pay for eBay templates right get some color in there and the most important thing is be specific about the material you use and talk it up put a logo in there if you're using Arlon or whatever uh, put a logo in the listing and again get some color in so your listing stand out okay so that's pretty straightforward uh, and again as you go through eBay there's just so many examples um, it just goes on and on and on uh, t-shirts uh, aprons there and this is just look custom text <laughs> doing nothing sold over 4,000 of them okay this is the way to go but again all you've got to do is make your listing stand out this is terrible I mean this is this is terrible to look at and yet they're kicking ass so like I said copy but don't copy now you say okay that's easy but how do you get up to these big numbers okay now that's the first secret I'm gonna let you in on when you create your listing now there's a little spot down here where you can boost it uh, it'll give you a suggested rate okay and what eBay will do they'll take that percentage of the sale but what it does is it pushes your listing up to the top so uh, let's go I think I had a page open here um, I'll just go custom 
Oh, hang on, we've got to get back into eBay. Custom stickers. Okay, straight at the top. Sponsored. Okay, now that's how you get to the top. The other way you get to the top is by trading for a long time and getting a lot of sales and getting a lot of feedback. Okay, so that's what you need to do. You got to get your listing up there, but that's not all you got to do. Let's go back to listing is your price. Okay, if you're competing with similar designs, create a better listing. Okay, and then a slightly better price. Now, work out your costs and the commission you're going to lose. Um, eBay are going to take as well to work out. So you're still making money, but this is the point where you won't be making a lot. Okay, because you want to get your listings up and the way that you do that and get into the big numbers is I'll show you let's find um, okay this here the price now they're doing really tiny stuff which they'll knock out all day this would probably do my head in um, I wouldn't be selling anything for under under sort of 10 to 15 dollars uh, that's just personal but it's up to you how hard you want to work uh, but for me I wouldn't want to sit on a vinyl cutter all day long um, either mind you I have um, back in the day when I was broke and it got me out of a hole but ideally um, you don't but to get these big numbers and compete what you do is you drop your initial listing price down okay so to get started this is probably not a good example but to get started you might have worked out that this whole thing to post and do everything is going to be four dollars okay so you might have made it five dollars okay and then with that because you're doing a sponsored sale and the price is cheaper than everyone else you're going to sell a lot right and because you sell a lot you're going to get a lot of feedback right but you're going to make bugger all money but then once you've started to sell a lot you change this price here because what people don't realize is that when this price changes all of this stuff stays the same okay so these could now you could have started off at five dollars each for these and they could now be ten dollars each and then a customer comes along and goes well they must be good value at ten dollars because they've sold four thousand of them and look at their feedback okay it's as simple as that start low start sponsored and then start to tweak it back the other thing with your listings is be committed right do a lot every day um, every day I suggest you create another five a day and just make a habit of it until you've got thousands I mean there's sellers here with thousands of listings I mean this is terrible um, to read it just does your head in but again they're, they're just kicking absolutely kicking ass okay so that's that's how well they're doing and they're not doing it right so imagine how well you could do it so like I said a good eBay template get some colors in get some branding okay uh, I don't know about the Australian thing I mean pretty much it's straightforward that uh, it's Australian but uh, yeah that's certainly the way to go and also be prepared you'll get a lot of uh, contacts to uh, to do custom stuff as well so eBay is your perfect tool you can create all these listings create them for free um, and just guys just stack them up there and like I said sponsor low price get the feedback build your listings up and then over time you won't be sponsoring any and you'll have good prices and you'll be making great money uh, now your other outlet is Facebook Facebook marketplace is underutilized now depending on what you want to create you might just want to create a generic ad um, for custom stickers and add a lot of samples a lot of photos people love photos but what I love about uh, Facebook is when you're targeting you can change it by default it'll pick up where you are okay but you can change this you can change this to anywhere you can change it to a suburb that you might not be in so for example if you do some uh, demographic research 
uh, on locations and you might find a particular in Sydney for example an industrial area I don't know Sydney but there might be an industrial area there where there might be a lot of transport or um, trucking businesses or something but businesses that you feel could utilize the custom work and the custom stickers target them because when those people are at work and in that area and they open Facebook marketplace on their phone your ads are going to be in that area again also once you create your listing Facebook marketplace will give the option to boost it okay so you can sponsor that listing so add your keywords right and all of a sudden your ads for your stickers are going to pop up wherever you want them to do and again spend the money the beautiful thing about Facebook marketplace right now is to get your ads sponsored and to the top and to a lot of people cost you bugger all okay and you'll see all those options uh, when it comes up with your listing so look guys it's that's as simple as it is those couple of tips there will get you kicking ass so create your listings create good ones see what everyone else is doing copy but don't copy and um, just and work at it uh, try and add another five every day and then over time you'll start to find out what sells and tweak your pricing but uh, there's no reason you can't make a heap of coin uh, a lot of the resellers on online uh, uh, resellers I've set up over the years or customers I've set up over the years uh, and they're they're all doing well look there's plenty there for everyone and if you're creative get creative create new ideas and new stickers and jump on the back um, of anything uh, you've just see what every see what's selling uh, it's not too hard okay guys um, I'll leave you to it Again, you know, if you have any issues or want that extra bit of advice, just email Jaden at support and uh, he'll certainly help you out. Otherwise, I certainly wish you all the best. I've given you all the tools you need. Um, you just got to get off your ass and, and do it. Cheers.